<laughs> Is there anybody out there? and Space Administration found water, ice, vapor, or liquid on some comets, asteroids, planets, or on their moons in our solar system. NASA photos show liquid water flowing on Mars today, water geysers on Saturn's moon Enceladus, water oceans under ice crusts of Jupiter's moons Europa and Ganymede that could have perhaps even complex life. Is life without water possible? NASA says yes. There could be life in liquid methane lakes of Saturn's moon Titan. What kind of life could there be in our solar system? Not this guy, <laughs> not this guy, perhaps microscopic life. Why spend billions of dollars to find just microscopic alien life? Why indeed? Well, where did we humans come from? Two famous evolutionary biologists, David Attenborough and Richard Dawkins, say in their books, First Life, and Ancestors' Tale, that life on Earth started three billion years ago in oceans by the microorganism called cyanobacteria. Over three billion years, new species evolved by natural selection from cyanobacteria and from each other in oceans and land. We humans evolved four million years ago. If microscopic life that starts in waters of Earth can evolve over time into clever species that is into us human beings, the same thing can happen in alien waters that have microscopic life. Therefore, even if we find only microscopic alien life, it would still be a very important finding. Perhaps Life on Earth 
did not start on Earth. Perhaps first microscopic life came to Earth billions of years ago on a comet or asteroid that fell to Earth. <coughs> Perhaps we humans are aliens. What if we never find alien life? That could mean that perhaps life exists only on Earth in the giant universe, is in the giant cosmos, is very dear and must be protected. I think very soon we will find alien life in our solar system, on some planets or on their moons that have water. Because water is life. Life is water. <laughs> Have a great evening. <laughs>